But this is basically the characters from Puzzle Fighter fighting with, like, like, like a normal fighting game, pretty much. Now, for whatever reason, they stuck this character in here, who I believe is an original or from another Capcom game. I forget which. But then you've also got the secret characters, Dan and Akuma, which are not that overpowered, if I remember right. Um, so we'll just go with Akuma, because he was always my favorite in other ones. And you can pick gameplay, and we'll do, like, normal, so you can actually see this stuff. But the thing is about this game is it's basically Capcom poking fun at their, all game, at their own game. So it's really dumb storylines, basically. Akuma's is, like, one of the only serious ones, but basically it's saying that the island he was, like, training on got turned into a fucking amusement park. So he's basically like, this sucks dick, so he goes forth to try and find somewhere else to train. Basically, Scampy Doodle, yeah, it's the characters from Puzzle Fighter in a normal fighting game. So it's a fighting game turned into a puzzle game turned into a fighting game. Now the thing is about this game is it's got one of the weirdest control schemes for a fighting game ever. It's actually sort of similar more to the way fighting games are now, where you've only got like one button for a punch and one button for like a kick or higher mid or whatever the fuck else, like what Tatsunoko versus Capcom uses. But the way it works though, is that combo is done with just the punch button, and then different combinations of the punch or the kick button do different combos. And there's a third button that is basically like a focus move in third... I never thought about that. It's basically like a focus move in fucking uh, Street Fighter... Wow! Wow, computer, op much? It's basically like a uh, focus move in Super Street Fighter 4. It's basically what it is. is you do it, and the longer you hold it down, the more it does damage, and the third level is unblockable, if I remember right. You can see a DJ there in the background along with Kami and Honda's big ass. But uh, yeah, it's basically what it fucking is. And it also shows what the moves are in the, in the bottom there, and like how to do them and everything, which is actually pretty helpful. So, uh, that's kind of nice. I keep on doing his fucking teleport, I'm not sure why, there we go. And as you get the gems, the purpose of the gems in this one are basically that the more gems you get, the more powerful your move becomes. So see, I have like a black fireball now, and now I've got my kick leveled up, it's not just a uh, purple... Ooh. It's not just like a purple cloud thing now, now it should be electric, or it should do more damage or something like that. So yeah, so as you get the gems, your attacks level up, and then you also have, you see that little purple bomb up there with the skull? You have bombs you can throw, if you press the right button, yeah, there we go. You can throw the bombs and they have different status effects or whatever else. So there's one that does it, and then another poison one, and the poison one like auto dizzies them, so... Yeah, so it's, it's actually a pretty far departure from every other fighting game Copcom's ever done. But, uh, yeah, and then you also you can hit the monkey up there to get extra shit, too. See, he drops more gems. So, like I said, it's pretty interesting how far, like, they went on this. This actually might make, like, a decent, you know, fighting game or whatever else if it wasn't, like, just in this one. I'm not saying this is a bad fighting game. I'm just saying it's, you know, most people never really took it seriously because it's fucking, yeah. I'm just getting my dick knocked here. Oh, time to get fucked. Or not. Or not. Uh, I'm saving LSD for the scary game stream, because I want to get in the mood for that stuff. So I got kind of dicked as that. We'll play as, uh, we'll play as Abuki. So she's basically butthurt about her training as she is in every fucking game. The backgrounds are all pretty uh, bizarre too for this kind of game. Yeah, I want to get a level 3 off, bitch. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm just getting like reamed. This is like on fucking op difficulty here or something. Also, she turns into Rolenta when she throws the knife. So this game basically is a way to like reference every fucking Capcom game ever made with like half the shit that goes on in it. Uh, I'm not sure when the scary game stream will be, really. It's just like every other stream I have, like I can't really plan it out. I'm going to try and do it sometime in December, probably. But I really couldn't tell you when exactly, because I don't want to set a date and then be unable to do it like I did last time. I set a date before it and I couldn't do it. So... I forget what her moves are. Okay, so there's that kick move. There's one other move I'm not doing right. I think it's quarter circle backwards kick. Oh, it's backwards dragon punch kick. Holy shit. Yeah, she turns into a fucking penguin when she does that move. I don't even know what that's referencing, but... I guess a lot of her shit's like uh, traditional Japanese like things or whatever else to reference, you know, her whole like ninja upbringing. Yeah, I'm just getting fucked in the ass. There we go.
I'm just getting reamed though, man. This guy's like whooping my ass. Computers on here are fucking pro as hell. Get the dude, he like okay, that's just cheap. Like the minute I attacked, he already knows what I was gonna do it because he's a fucking computer. That's ridiculous. Fuck off, Ryu. That's insane, man. I went from like playing Mega Man, which is like total noob mode guys, to just pro mode computer. I can't even beat one fucker.